everybody, it's Angela, and I'm back with another design team project for Saw Crafters. And I am going to use this little heart mini album. And as you can see, there are five frames and then five backers. And I'm actually going to split mine into two and just use the frames for this mini album. And then I have five solid ones I can do for another mini album or if I want to insert more pages into this one later. And this one is going to be just kind of a grandbaby album. And I'm going to use these papers from Crate Paper, a Little Bo Peep, and Little Boy Blue. And they're an older collection that I picked up at Tuesday morning. And so what I'm going to do with this is because it's got these frames and this is made out of MDF, there's you know quite a bit of a recess in there. And I want to make these into little shaker pages and so um, I'm just tracing the shape of the page on there and then I'm cutting on the inside of the line and going around that and then I'm going to use my exacto knife to cut out the shape in the center and this album is going to be each page is going to be a different grandchild um, as you know I've got two right now and um, we have a third one on the way and uh, so, and then that'll give me a couple more pages for room to grow because I know that um, I have one more uh, stepson who's not married yet, but who wants to get married and have children at some point. So I know he'll probably have some and, and there'll be more in the future. So I have pages, room to grow. So there is my first page and what I'm going to use to cover that is just a piece of packaging, this little clear piece of acetate. I think the, this was packaging from some of those uh, overlays that you get for Project Life, photo overlays. And so it's just a nice clear acetate and I'm going to use that and just trim it to fit on the top and then I'm going to glue that on and then glue that pink heart over the top so that you can't see the acetate. And I really like this. I have some little um, shapes and stuff that I got and don't ask me <laughs> who the manufacturer is because I got them a long time ago and they've just been in my stash. But they're just like some little bead findings. Maybe it was um, that blue moon beads or something like that or whatever, but they were just little baby shaped items and I thought they would be perfect in a shaker box and then I'll add some sequins and things like that. I've seen a lot of people making shaker cards and shaker pocket pages lately and so when I saw these I just thought that yeah I'd go ahead and do this and as you can see I painted my shapes. They're all painted white to begin with and now I'm going and I'm going to adhere the paper on the top of the acetate and to do an instant stick and so that the adhesive doesn't like squish over the acetate, I'm going to just use some score tape or some dry adhesive there just around the edge. And then the rest of it I'll coat with regular wet glue. But I just didn't want to put a bunch of glue there and then have it kind of gush over onto the acetate and kind of mess up the the little shaker window. So on this round one I have to kind of pull it off in little tiny bits to get around that circle. And so I just fill that in and then trim off any that's kind of hanging over. And that score tape is really strong but if you were careful with your wet adhesive I'm sure it would be just fine but I know that you know I kind of get it all over the place so I thought I'd just be safe and use a dry adhesive. So I'm just peeling the backings off and then I'll like I said I'll use wet glue for the rest of this to stick it on there. And then I actually kind of smear it around with my finger and I change later and actually get a paintbrush to do this but for right now uh, just using my fingers and then I go and just set something heavy on it 
just to hold it down and make sure it sticks really well. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one. And I only do these two pages with the shaker in it because I don't have pictures of the other, the future grandbabies. I just left it open and I could add acetate and another sheet on top if I wanted, or I could do the next pages not as shaker pages. But I wanted to make sure and get these two. And because um, I just like the idea of it and I love the little interactive shaker um, things that I see people doing. And I can just see grandchildren, you know, wanting to look at these and, uh, you know, shake it around and stuff like that. So as they try to figure out which baby is them. So there I'm just adhering the photo on the back of a piece of pattern paper. Then I'm tracing the shape out and then I'll glue this to the back. So I had to make sure that my photo was positioned properly uh, to show through the little window. And then I just again trim it. And I do go back after I glue all these and I kind of take an emery board to the edges and I take a little bit of the Tim Holtz tea dye ink to all the edges as well. But I mostly just wanted to, to show you how I did the shaker page part. So now before I put my items in and glue this together, I took a little bit of Windex and just kind of clean the acetate because once you glue it down, whatever's in there is going to um, stay in there. So these are my little charms that I got somewhere and there's like a little blue baby shoe, a rattle, a little blue footprints and a bear or something. I don't know. There was a boy one and a girl one and I remember I picked them both up when I saw them. And then I'm picking out a few little blue sequins and some clear ones. And then that's all I'm going to put in there. I don't want so much that, you know, you can't see the photo anymore. I want them to kind of settle to the bottom of the frame uh, so that you can see the photo. So I just position them in there and they can't flip over because it's a uh, pretty tight space. So you need to make sure that you've got them positioned right side up or the side that you want to see. And here's where I actually get my paintbrush out and uh, to apply my glue. And I'm only going to use one of the holes on there. There's two holes, but I was just going to use one binder ring. So I'm only going to punch one of the holes there. So now I'm spreading out the glue and then adhering it over my backing with the charms and stuff inside already. And then I set something heavy on it. And then I go and I do the little girl one. And I did the same thing. I adhered the photo to the back of some pattern paper so I would know that the photo was positioned in the right spot to fit out the to see out the frame. And then I was checking that bead, but it was a little bit too fat to fit in there and still shake around. So I'm just going to use this little bear, a stroller, and a little baby shoe, and then a few clear and pink sequins. And again, I'm just going to make sure they're facing up and then I've switched glues, not on purpose, it was just happened to be the bottle that I grabbed. That's an Aileen's wood glue. The clear one I was using was the Aileen's tacky glue, but both of them work just fine. So I go ahead and put it on there, position it over the back, get it all lined up. And then um, it's a little bit of a gap underneath my photo there that I had to get some glue. And now I can start decorating. And around this circle, I'm going to use some of these little tiny beads that I got from Tammy at Tatsy2. Thank you, Tammy. And I'm just putting those around in a circle here. 
a little bit of hot glue and it just kind of finishes the edge off gives it a little bit of a delicate look and I kind of just pull from my stash for different flowers and lace and pearl trim and things like that but I really love how the shaker turned out I'll probably turn the other ones into shaker pages maybe I don't know I go back and forth but I thought it was such a cute idea for how to use um, this MDF album and you know like I said I've still got the five solid hearts set aside that I can um, make a whole nother little mini album with so I just love that it turned out so cute and so now I'm looking through I have a saw crafters this little pacifier and a few other saw crafters items that I painted white and now I'm just gonna paint some of this Martha Stewart sparkle glitter paint on there and I have this little baby rattle a little diaper pin and let's see what else do I have a baby buggy and then I actually have a little bunny rabbit that I flocked for a different project and didn't wind up using it and so I go ahead and use it on this project so on the back of the shaker it's got their baby newborn picture under the shaker and then on the back it's got a picture of them sitting up so I did that for both um, Allison here and Mason so it's got a newborn picture on the shaker and then one where they're you know able to hold their head up and stuff on the back and now I have this little flower and I just wanted to add a little bit of softness or another layer to it and so I'm just taking some lace that I got um, from Olga thank you Olga I'm still using all my lace I don't have to buy lace because she hooked me up so and that just adds another little layer to that flower and so I go ahead and glue that down and I'm not sure what I'm gonna put on the front there for this little boy um, I have some blue this little flower trim so I go ahead and do this. I have a little bit of trouble because it's kind of bulky and I'm trying to make it work around the corner and then I couldn't so I had to trim it. It just wasn't exactly the right size. But I get it to work out. And I just like it because it kind of echoes the white pearl trim I put around the girl photo. Um, but this one has, you know, the blues in it, so it works good for a little boy page. So I go ahead and put that down. And then I couldn't quite get it to fit again, these two. So I wind up pulling up these three, just taking off some of the hot glue, and then gluing um, it down and repositioning it a little bit to get it to work. So I get that done and that frames in that little shaker. And it looks really cute. And I think about putting some lace on there and I'm like, no, that's probably a little over the top. And then on the back, I put a little bit older photo of him. And then I go ahead and put this little pacifier right next to the photo. So that's all the decoration I'm going to do on that page. And then there's the little flocked rabbit that I did for a different project and I thought it looked so cute on here. So I go ahead and put him on. And I just do some more little uh, decorating but I didn't want to make you sit through me doing all of it. So I'm just going to do a final flip through. I put the binder ring on there with a bunch of ribbons and stuff. So there's my little shaker and it turned out so so cute I just love it it just works perfect and then you flip it over and it's got a little bit older photo of her the flower on there and the lace 
and I just rounded the corners on uh, the photos to kind of match the rounded corners on the frames of the hearts. And there's the little boy shaker page. And there you can see the little pacifier can or er, rattle. You can see the iridescent glitter that was in the paint. And on the yellow page, um, I just put some beaded trim around the oval and a little diaper pin. And I can just cut out an oval photo and insert that in the front at some later point. And then that I can slip a photo behind the, the carriage. And I left it yellow since I don't know if there'll be more boys or girls. This one I put the little pacifier on there and a little bow. I put another flower on the back of that page. And then I know that the new grandbaby that's being expected is a girl. So I can put her photo in there, the little pink rabbit. And that is my finished project. I think it turned out so cute. And I can just see grandkids looking through this and, and really enjoying shaking it and looking through it and feeling it and guessing who's who. So anyhow, that is my finished project. If you have any questions or anything, um, just leave me a comment below and I will answer any questions and also I will put links in the description box to all the Sawcrafters products that I use. And if you use the code ANGELAFANS, uh, you will get a 10% discount off everything in your purchase of $30 or more. So please check that out and again I will put everything in the description box down below. Okay guys, talk to you later. Bye!